Hello, hello everyone, what's going on? So my last video was a breakdown of my Blue Eyes White Dragon, my casuals deck. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out. It will be linked up right here or in the description down below. It will help you kind of follow along a little bit with what's going on here. So with that out of the way there, I right now, today, I figured I was going to do a bit of a test hands video here just to show a little bit on how that deck works and how it plays and uh, see on what combos we can kind of get off. So without further ado, let's get into it. One little caveat though is, is that since that video, I have done some alterations. So what I ended up doing was switching out some of the kind of generic dragons out in the deck and added three copies of Perform Pal Coin Dragon. This turn, if a monster you control that was special summon from the extra deck battled an opponent's monster, after damage calculation, you can banish that opponent's monster. So if you don't want that monster in the graveyard, you're going to get rid of it. And the monster effect is all right as well. It's, it grants other dragon monsters that you control an additional 500 attacks. So turning your blue eyes white dragon into an even bigger blue eyes. So 3000 to 35 if you have this on the field. Plus in general, it's a pretty decent level 4 dragon monster with 1700 attacks. So lower attack than the Alexandrite dragon that you had, but at least has a better effect. All right. So first one, two, three, four, five. All right, not too bad. These two aren't the best right now, but that's okay. What we can do is, first of all, normal summon the white stone of legend. Let's go into the Link Karibo. Landing white stone. That will activate effect of white stone to add a blue eyes white dragon from deck to hand. One. Oh. All right. So next we can show the blue eyes that we just added to special summon the alternative white dragon. Now if this is uh, going first, you're not going to be able to use the ability to pop a card, obviously. But well, you could, but it'd be pointless to pop your own link revolt to be honest. But then with this, you can activate Ancient Rules to Special Summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then from here, what I would do is probably go into either bringing out Twin Burst Dragon, because Twin Burst can be Special Summoned just by sending two Blue Eyes White Dragon from field to graveyard. And Alternative Dragon's effect is that its name becomes Blue Eyes White Dragon on field or graveyard. So you could send to bring out Twin Burst and Twinburst already basically has the effect similarly to what the Perform Pal monster does of being able to banish the monster, but it already has the protection. So you could just go with something simple like that or rewind. You go into one of your rank eights. If you wanted to go straight into the combo of number 97, bring him out to then bring him out with this as material could, or you can go into something like Seacaster will allow you to detach a material and then and then look at your opponent's extra deck. So it really gives you some good uh, deck knowledge. So that would probably be the better option for going first. It's gonna be good like that to help get rid of some of your opponent's plays. And then you would probably just leave these two just in your hand as is and wait till next turn. So. That was uh, actually a pretty decent opening hand because it gave you a couple options to figure out what you want to do, uh, depending whether you're going first or second. All right, let's go into another one. All right, let's go into one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not too bad. You could set up actually quite a bit of plays with this if you really wanted to, since. Honestly, the first thing I would do is activate the Melody of Awakening Dragon, getting rid of the Protector to add one Blue Eyes. There you, there you are. One alternative. And then, pretty much, pretty similarly as uh, last hand. Show the Blue Eyes, special summon this one. Activate the ancient rules to get that out. And then you could either normal summon the maiden and then go into Link Rebo again. So almost the same type of play. Because Melody of Awakening Dragon is a not in once per turn. Not even a soft once per turn. Activate another Melody. 
by getting rid of the Maiden, you can add, if you wanted to, you could add Chaos Max. Probably just uh, another copy of Blue Eyes. Pretty decent option. So, as I said, you would, and with this, you would really end up with pretty much the same end as what our last hand was by sh revealing the Blue Eyes, the Special Summon the Alternative, and then Ancient Rules to Special Summon one of the other Blue Eyes. So, either way, whether you use both of the melodies or not, you could save one for next turn if you wanted, it's not that big of a deal. Either way, you would either link the Maiden away with the Link Kribo again, same thing, or just leave it on field to potentially get the special summon of a Blue Eyes regardless, because it's pretty hard not to, to not guarantee getting a Blue Eyes White Dragon from onto the field. So, depending on what you want to do, you could either have a board like this or a board like this anything and then do other plays again just like last turn all right return of blue eyes maiden and perform four and five i think these two got stuck together a little these three got stuck together a little bit they didn't shuffle as well as i thought but oh well a few things you could do here either you wanted this would be i would keep this in hand until you have one of the other plays so you keep that in hand there so you either use your normal summon on the Maiden. That's probably what I would do. I would reveal the Blue Eyes in hand to bring out Alternative again. Then normal Maiden. And then probably leave it at that, to be honest. Because, any again, any battle you do to Maiden is going to bring out the Blue Eyes from the hand that you have or decks, wherever you're going. You kind of go from there. I think that's the best way to do it. That, or since this is a level 1 tuner and level 8, this is where you start your synchro plays. You go into your synchro play of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Yeah, and then I would probably, again, leave it like this for now. And then kind of play it around. Hopefully during the opponent's end, end phase, this everything all survived. End phase. Get rid of that. Bring out that. Draw. Stand by. You, could, there's, you couldn't activate this effect. This is where you start to kind of figure out what you're doing, depending on what you're going on. So again... So then this is where you go into Protector to target itself, Tribute, special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. So then from here, this is where I would normal summon the Perform Pal Coin Dragon, giving him 35, giving him 3, and you can do a decent amount of damage. Get over something little, get over something big. Not too bad, again, depending on what you're kind of wanting to do. All right, let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's something we can finally do here. Okay, so I was looking a little bad with this, but these two combined together actually ended up working. So you normal summon the white stone. This is where you would activate the sage's effect to discard this card, target the white stone, send to graveyard, chain one, chain two, chain two, add the blue eyes white dragon from deck to hand. There's one. And then chain one, special summon a blue eyes monster. So this is where you have a little bit of fun. You can, so you have a few options. You can either special summon the Blue-Eyes White Dragon specifically, and then activate the Ancient Rules. And now you have two Blue-Eyes on field. With these two out, I would then kind of go set the Ultimate Fusion and the Silver's Cry, because then that's, in casual setting, that alone, just two Blue-Eyes on the field, is pretty uh, intimidating. So you could leave it at, that's pretty, pretty good regardless. As soon as it's your opponent's turn, they have any way of getting rid of the, the blue eyes by targeting them or destroying them, regeki, anything like that. Grant, you would want to activate the ultimate fusion using those two to bring out blue eyes twin burst. Maybe not, I guess maybe not regeki because that'd be the wrong chain order, but shuffle those back into the deck and then you get the option to destroy two monsters because you use two blue eyes. But if we play this hand out in a slightly different way. Still do the same thing of normal summon, activate, discard, target, send, add, special summon. Other thing you could do is again activate the ancient rules, bring up the other blue eyes, overlay those into again any one of your rank eights that you wanted to go into depending on which turn you're playing. So let's go into there. Rebellion, activate effect of Rebellion to detach, special summon, and attach one as material. And then you have some more big beaters. 
This one can't be destroyed by card effects. And you can set this to then keep this in hand. Then during your opponent's turn, if something else happens, you can activate the Silver's Cry to re bring out another Blue Eyes. So you're going to have even more attack power there. And then you're kind of set to just start wiping the field a little bit for your battle phase. See how there's a couple ways to kind of play out different hands depending on whether you're going first or second or what's kind of going on with your opponent. Okay, so yeah, there you have it. There's a few test hands just to kind of show the bit of the range that the deck can do. Because as you can see, it goes from Synchro to Xyz, Lynx, and Fusion. So you can get into any extra deck play with this deck. Again, it's not going to be anything too, too crazy because this modern meta, meta, it's going to still get destroyed pretty easily, even if you are going first. But it's a pretty good one to play during some casual games against you and your friends, or if you're like me and have actual casuals set up at your locals. But that's it from you guys. I hope you like these couple little test hands. If you haven't seen the actual deck build, make sure to check that video on my page as well. It'll be linked down below. Let me know what you think. Is this a kind of Pretty fun casual deck, I think it is, but let me know what you guys think as well. And let me know, what's your favorite Blue Eyes card of all time? Leave a comment down below as well. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and sub the subscribe button. It really helps me out, it really helps kind of show off to a few other people. And share it to some of your friends that are also fans of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!